Environmental engineers use the principles of engineering, soil science, biology, and chemistry to develop solutions to environmental problems. They are involved in efforts to improve recycling, waste disposal, public health, and control of water and air pollution. They also address global issues such as safe drinking water, climate change, and sustainability. Environmental engineers held about 51,400 jobs in 2010. They work in a variety of settings because of the nature of the tasks they do. When they are working with other engineers and urban and regional park planners, environmental engineers are likely to be in offices. When they are working with business people and lawyers, they are likely to be at seminars where they present information and answer questions. And when they work with hazardous waste technicians and environmental scientists, they work at specific sites outdoors. Most environmental engineers work full-time. Those who manage projects often work more than 40 hours per week to monitor the project's progress and recommend corrective action when needed. This is necessary to make sure that deadlines are met and to ensure that the project is built according to specification. Environmental engineers must have a bachelor's degree in environmental engineering or related field, such as civil, chemical, or mechanical engineering. Employers also value practical experience, therefore cooperative engineering programs in which college credit is awarded for structured job experience are valuable as well. Getting a license improves the chances for employment. The median annual wage of environmental engineers was $78,740 in May 2010. The median wage is the wage at which half the workers in an occupation earn more than that amount and half earn less. The lowest 10% earn less than $48,980, and the top 10% earn more than $119,060.